Hey, hey, welcome back to the Experience Share. My name is Blake, and today we are diving in to the sorcery dust uh, system process. And so, I want to just go over some of my thoughts and reactions, as well as show you the opening that I did for the sorcery cards that I was able to purchase out of the dust store. So. All right, so this is the announcement straight from the Sorcery TCG website. And so if you're not familiar with Dust, Dust was the code that was on the bottom of the box. Every time you scanned or you bought a box, the code there at the bottom awarded you 100 Dust. Uh, some of the local stores that I've gone to, if you won the tournament, uh, a draft, they would give you the dust at the end. Some other stores uh, kept the dust for themselves. Some other stores uh, were uh, just gave them out randomly as a, a drawing at the end of the tournament. And so dust is just a way for the sorcery team to be able to just say thank you for buying their products, playing in their stores. And so you get dust two ways now. It used to only be that you could buy it or get it from purchasing a box and you get the 100 dust. Uh, but you also get it from going in and actually playing in a local game store. And so that's one thing that I think was really smart of the sorcery team to do was allow for participation dust. And that's what you're looking at right now. This is the participation dust that you're able to accumulate. You can only earn 100 participation dust per month. And so that's gonna, if you're playing in a constructed tournament, you need to play in at least three of those. But if you're playing in just casual meetup tournaments, uh, you could play in potentially up to four or one of those a week. Now I know most of the events that have been in local and at least in the Dallas Fort Worth area have been in between that eight and 16 number. And so, hey, who knows, maybe the dust system is enough to consistently get enough people that be at that 16. Uh, if that was the case, that maybe that would encourage us to uh, hit some of those thresholds, be a little bit easier. So you only have to go twice to get that 100 dust if you're at that 16. But in addition, you also have unlimited achievement dust. And that's what's really cool here. Now, I played at March of the Mortals and that had 61 players in it. And so it just barely missed that threshold for the 64. Uh, however, they did a pretty reasonable amount of dust. I think if you are at like 32, I think it'd been cool to go to top eight. But like all of this is just like cherry on top type. There's nowhere is this any of this required. Magic, they're not doing any sort of dust system. You buy our product, you play in our stores, here's free stuff. Pokemon isn't doing that. This is really innovative from the sorcery team. So any the fact that they're doing this at all is a win. Uh, so I really have no gripes or complaints. Sure, it'd be great if it went to top 64, or sorry, top eight at some of these larger tournaments. But the fact that they're awarding dust at all, if you win, you get 200. If you get second, you get 100. And, and you know, there might be some feel bad moments here or there with tiebreakers, depending upon how it falls. But you go out, you play, you have fun. And these achievement dust that's based on, like, you can do casual meetup and still get in this, you know, one or two. And so this does not go against that 100 dust limit that was there. And so if you're playing, you're doing a casual meetup with friends at a local card store, you know, once a week, and there's, you know, four of y'all, or maybe not four, eight of y'all playing, and you're consistently getting eight players, well, then you're getting an extra 200 dust here. And that's, that can add up over time. Dust was selling prior to this announcement at about $10 a code. I, you know, I don't know exactly where it settled down with as the shop has now been open. But I think this is an incredibly generous thing for the sorcery team to do to encourage people to play at a local game store. Sure, 100 dust at the end of the game or at the end of a box is a is a great perk to be able to have. But it's really the playing in the local game store. That's the main perk here. This encourages people to go out and play, rewards people for going out and to play. So you might be asking, like, Blake, how much dust did you get? What did you get at the store? Uh, so I got 540 dust, and that was from buying two boxes and just playing in a few local tournaments. Now, not all of the tournaments were in the uh, you know, Curiosa setup, and so there's a, a two drafts that I missed out because it wasn't done locally. They just fired it off at the shop, and that's one thing that's really awesome that the Curiosa team did was they went back and actually 
backfilled your dust for you for all the games that you played from January till now. That was not something they had to do. They could have started everybody at zero dust. This is like a perk on top of anything. And so, you know, I would love for you to put what feedback that you would have about the dust system in the comments below. That's one thing that Chase and the Sorcery team is really good at is watching these videos, paying attention to the comments section. Um, one thing that I just really want to hedge on is they talked about not abusing the system. And, and that's going to be so critical to this. Uh, you know, if people are going in, abusing the system, creating these local or casual meetups just to hit these participation bonuses, like, this is an extra on top to just help the community out, help the community grow, encourage people to go out and play. And so I would just urge you to just stay within the confines that it's asking for. Yeah, follow the rules that they set up here for us because this is all just extra things on top that they didn't have to do. Yeah, I would love for down the line for maybe some of these sorcery t-shirts that they put a dollar amount on these because I don't know if I'm going to personally spend a thousand dust to get a, a sorcery t-shirt. I'd love to have a sorcery t-shirt. I'd love to wear a sorcery t-shirt. But come on, look at these promos. Like I'm going to have to go through and make sure I'm able to get one of every one of these promos eventually. Now the two promos that I did pick up, so I had the 540 dust, I had to get the Pudge Butcher, and I was so excited when I saw this Sorcerer promo here. It was something that I wish I would have been able to get from the Alpha, it was a Kickstarter. I was looking over the ones, I didn't join, I didn't start playing Sorcery until the beta was released, and so I missed out on that card art, and so it was great to be able to get this awesome foil version of it now that I get to play with. And it's a not anything that I'm ever gonna sell, something I'm always gonna keep. And on that same vein, like the, 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 they did some really neat things. I love the concept of there being alt arts of uniques too. That, that's incredibly awesome because these alt arts, you can actually play in your decks and not feel like there's a Mitch match. Uh, I understand why they had to limit it. Um, I would have loved for there to have been, hey, these are exceptional, so you can have three, so you can match your play set. Now the only way, if you want a full play set, is actually go out and, and pay cash for whatever that amount's going to be. Uh, and Because I, I really want to encourage people not to go around the system. They wanted it to be one per player. I want everybody that wants a backwards Pudge Butcher to get a backwards Pudge Butcher. Um, now, with that being said, I just think the cards that they released here, uh, Color Out of Space, Waypoint Portal, this new, the Sorcerer promo, Foil Rubble. That's another one, right? For all of you uh, players that maybe play stars uh, and need to flood the board with rubbles or you root stacks out there. I, I know you exist. You just took down one of my local tournaments. And uh, so you probably want a, a whole bunch of Foil Rubble. Well, you're going to be able to get four in it. Uh, maybe if you're a Geomancer deck, maybe that's enough for you. This Cloud City promo is beautiful. The Foot Soldiers, and you know, I'm excited for there to be frogs. <laughs> Full art frogs, that'll be sweet. And one huge thing, like these play mats, at 800, that feels like such a good deal. I am very grateful that I was able to get a Primordial Springs Artist Series play mat, as well as a Mirror Realm. And, you know, I uh, love the art on these play mats and these are ones that i'd be willing to play with and so i'll probably you know if i had to think of like what are my quote unquote must-haves i would love to get a mirror realm uh just because i want to play on a mirror realm i want to save the artist series ones that i have is kind of artwork to put in my office uh, i'd love to get a roots uh but i probably only need one so i'll probably just get the the mirror realm for now the Cloud City, that's going to be a huge one that I'm going to want to get, as well as the Color Out of Space. Um, we'll have to see. It's going to, saving dust, I feel like, is going to be important. They are going to run out. Like, this is not an infinite supply of these items that are on here. But uh, they did such an amazing job with this dust series. I'm so grateful that the sorcery team is trying to figure out, hey, how do we encourage people to continue to play the game? And that's one thing that I'm just going to continue to say is go out there, find a local game store, see if you can start some casual meetups, even if the store didn't participate in maybe some of the beta cards to begin with. But if you can start building a local community, you can start earning dust as well as starting to build a community around. So when our theory and legends comes out, maybe we can start having some larger tournaments. All right, for those of you who have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Now here goes into the opening of my 
Dust Rewards. Have a great day. Hey, hey, what's going on YouTube? One of the show, a quick unboxing of the Sorcery Rewards points that I just received from the Dust. And so we're gonna do a, an unboxing here to take a look and see what we got. All right. So I had 540 dust is what I had from two boxes and then the few tournaments that I've played in. So these come in, that's cool. So they come in individually sealed. Awesome, okay. Very cool. So here first we got the, uh, the Pudge Butcher here very neat now one thing that I, I thought was unique here is that you know you can only get one of these per account and so you know you can't play with three of the exceptional pudge butchers for the avatar i think that makes a lot of sense i mean this is definitely going to be the sorcerer that I, I play with going forward so we're going to definitely crack that open This is what I will be playing with. That's a, all right, maybe not the best opening I could have done there. I don't want to bend the card too much. All right. <laughs> so not the, the easiest thing to open, but I mean, you gotta love the foiling on these cards. And it's just unlike anything else. And then we have the, the full art sorcerer on the back. So this is definitely going to be the version that I play with going forward. The Pudge Butcher, because you can only play, I don't know, like if I had ever played two Pudge Butchers in a deck, I'm definitely going to miss uh, having the other ones. But let me know down in the comments below, would you play uh, just one of these Pudge Butchers? Are you playing any of the cards like, i think it makes a lot of sense for avatars and unique cards to be these promos that you can play these one ofs and you know not feel like you're missing out too much but you have to let me know down in the comments below quality though this was shipped in a nice sturdy container each of these are individually sealed and wrapped well maybe a little bit hard to open here on camera Gosh, you gotta love this foiling of the sorcerer. All right, so you'll be seeing me play around with this, but I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.